Hello students, in this video we'll see how to price forward contracts when there are discrete dividends. Suppose a stock has initial price S0 and pays a dividend of rho at every year. Then the price of a forward contract to purchase the stock at time t is given by the following formula. F zero t is the initial price of the stock e to the r t capital minus the accumulated value of the dividends. Where here R is the risk-free rate of return. So over here our R So let's see how we prove this by arbitrage. So let's assume we have the following configuration. Here's time t, here's time zero, and here's time tau. And let's assume we get a dividend at time tau of rho. So according to our formula, the future forward price will be S0 e to the r t minus the accumulated value of the dividends, which will be rho e to the r t minus tau. So let's suppose that this, this equality is not true. So let's first suppose that F zero T is strictly bigger than S zero E to the R T minus rho E to the R T minus tau. And what we can do is we can rewrite this in the following way. We can write this as F zero T minus S zero E to the R T plus rho E to the R T minus tau is strictly bigger than zero. So what we'll do is we will observe the signs. So this is a positive sign, and this is a positive sign, and this is a negative sign, and that tells us how to follow the arbitrage structure. So what we'll do is we will, in this situation, we will buy the stock for S0. We will enter a short forward contract. At time tau, we will, since we have bought the stock, at time tau we'll get the dividend of rho. So at time t, we will have, we will have negative S zero e to the R T because the amount we borrowed in order to buy the stock was negative S zero at the initial time and that has time T to evolve and grow. We are in a short forward contract so instead of buying the stock we can sell the stock for F zero T so we get a profit of F zero T from the execution of the short sale and I will have the dividend that came from the stock rho e to the R T minus tau, which is strictly bigger than zero. So by borrowing S zero, buying the stock and entering into a short forward contract, we have a violation of our arbitrage. So this violates arbitrage. Conversely, let's suppose that the opposite equality is true. So let's suppose that F zero T is strictly less than S zero E to the R T minus rho E to the R T minus tau. 
If we rewrite this, we can rewrite this as s0 e to the r t minus rho e to the r t minus tau minus f0 t is strictly bigger than 0. Notice the difference between the first expression over here, the first inequality. The f0 is positive over here, now the f0 is negative. The s0 was negative over here, now the s0 is positive. The rho was positive over here and negative over here. That tells us we should flip the reasoning and we should get exactly the same result. So in this situation, what we will do is instead of buying the stock, we will short the stock. meaning we will buy the stock and sell the stock immediately. Then we will enter a long forward contract as opposed to a short forward contract. At time t, we will have the following. Since I bought and sold the stock, I will have S0 e to the RT from the amount I earned from the stock initially invested risk free, I will owe the dividend along with the time it was allowed to evolve. That's what I will owe. And then I will have to settle the forward contract by purchasing the stock back. So I will purchase it for F0T, but we know this expression is positive, so I've made a net gain again, and it's also a violation of arbitrage. So both inequalities where this is strictly bigger than zero and strictly less than zero are false, so we have figured out the formula to correctly price a forward contract with one discrete dividend. And exactly the same reasoning allows us to compute this if there are more than one dividend in the stream or a continuous stream of dividends. Thank you very much.